Okay, today I want to introduce you to this learning framework. Let me go through the different parts of the framework. The pedagogy. The pedagogy deals with the instructional design, content design, goal analysis, audience analysis, and then move on to the technological. Technological is basically infrastructure planning, hardware, software for e-learning. Move on to interface design. Interface design, where you have the look and feel for your e-learning materials, how they would look, how one could interact with different e-learning materials. Evaluations. In e-learning, you have the evaluation of an instructor and an assessment of learners. At the same time, you're going to do a comprehensive evaluation of people who are involved in developing and delivering e-learning materials. Management. You have enormous job to be done for the maintenance of e-learning material, updating them. So in this category of the framework, you have that. Resource support. You need to have a 24 hours resource support because you are online and your students all over the places, your clients all over the places. So they would like to have some kind of support, technical support. So you have to have a resource support that includes technical support and you need to have counseling support, you need to have other support services for online learning. Move on to ethical dimension. This is very important because what it has, it has geographical diversity because you have people from different parts of the world taking your courses. And now, uh, for example, if you have a students uh, taking a chat uh, session of a course at the person in San Francisco and it's 8 a.m., but that will be almost like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. in D.C. area. So you don't want to do some kind of uh, chat sessions for uh, students that are dispersed globally in different geographical locations. Within the ethical dimension, you do also have uh, the accessibility issue, you have learner diversity, you have legal issues. So you can see uh, the ethical dimension is very important and cross-cultural communication. Next one is institutional. If you're an institution offering e-learning courses, you need to be very careful about the student services, academic services. One would ask the questions, if I take this class face to face, will I get the same quality of education that I'll be getting through e-learning? So you see, that's institutional. So you see, starting from pedagogy, technology, evaluation, management, resource support, ethical issues, institutional issues, all this together, you put the learner that you're trying to develop the materials for, put at the center, and ask the questions around these eight dimensions, you will see you cannot do much wrong. And on the top of that, who are other stakeholder groups? An instructor, put the instructor at the center of the model, and ask the questions if you are fulfilling the instructor's needs. Then, who are the stakeholders? Institution itself. Your institution should be at the center and ask the questions, what is the return on investment for institutions? So what we need to do for e-learning framework is basically put your specific audience and a specific context, context at the center of the model and design the materials for your audience, audience that will bring greater return on investment of your effort. Thank you. And we will have more articles uh, related to the framework available on our learning management system. So thank you and hopefully that you will design meaningful instructions and e-learning for your audience following the eight categories of uh, this model. Thank you.